Hello everybody, we're signing from the Cyberrhino and I'm back with another Doctor Who review. Sorry this one's been a bit late, I've been a bit busy editing for my own Doctor Who series which is on my Doctor Who Series 6 channel. If you're a Doctor Who fan, I have my own series um, that I'm making with my friend. We're on the final season so, <clears throat> God, if you want to check that out, go and just look up, actually, yeah, I'll put it in the link in the description or in the comments down below, one or the other. So today I'm reviewing Dot and Bubble. Or, oh, um, yeah, I haven't actually thought of what I'm rating this one, which is interesting. Actually, no, I have. I have. So, so I've got a bit of a cold, fever, whatever. So, no spoilers, as always, even though it's been a couple of days since the episode, so you've probably seen it, but still not going to give any spoilers away. Yeah, so Dot and Bubble, right. So what I can say is is that it's a very different Doctor Who episode. Um, obviously, again, no spoilers. Um, I've really enjoyed the aesthetic, the look, the vibe it gives off in the first half, quarterish, <clears throat> with the music. I think the effects are great, especially for the bubble, the colour palette that they use for the um, for fine time um, is very good, very good, very good colour palette. I really like just the vibe and aesthetic of like the futuristic. I know it's set off off Earth, but I like the futuristic sort of vibe it gives off. So. The main character, Lindy Pepperbean, she is very annoying. Um, obviously, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but she is an annoying character. She's not likable. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say without spoiling it. But she has she has got some dislikable um, traits about her. Let's just say. So yeah, that's. Lindy Pepperbean's character, who is the main character of this episode, as it is kind of Doctor Light, and the Doctor's in it more than 73 yards, but it is, he's not really the main character of the story. And I am jumping to the end a little bit. The Doctor's performance at the end of the episode, Shooting at was performance, is really, really good, and he delivers a really great scene at the end of the episode. Um, obviously I can't give spoilers so I won't say anything about the scene but it's a very good scene and it's a very doctory moment for the 15th Doctor. Um, the bubble's good, I like the effects the bubble has, I like how it looks, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I like the, the, the villains of the episode um, which are slugs, um, slug creatures, <clears throat> I believe they're called the man traps. Um, I really like the look of them. Um, they really, they look, they do look just like slugs, but obviously they have that Doctor Who alien quality to them. Um, I really like the look of them, and I think they're a good villain. Um, yeah, I think they're a great sort of monster. We haven't had a really good monster. We've had Space Babies with the Bogeyman, the Bogeyman, which was it was a good monster. But then we had a god. Then we had, I guess, an ambulance, but that wasn't really an alien, a landmine, so no aliens there. Then we had some mythical supernatural woman, no explanation. So we haven't had a really good monster since Space Babies. So it's good to have a nice creature that we can, um, you know, look at. And I don't know what I'm saying, but a good creature for the episode to enjoy and to be disgusted at by how it looks and everything. Which is a, which is cool because they filmed this episode back in January or December last year, so we we um, all the fans saw you know the pictures of the slugs, so it's great to see them in action now. So what will I rate the episode? Oh, also one more thing: the commentary in this episode. I won't say exactly what commentaries are mentioned, but lots of different commentaries are mentioned. Some are a bit more obvious than others, um, but I think with Russell T Davies writing this, he definitely intended to have some commentaries running through it, some social quality, qu qu commentaries running throughout the episode. Um, there's one in there that I don't think many people will notice um, until the end of the episode, but that's all I'll say for now. So out of 10, I believe last week I rated 73 yards 9 out of 10. This one I rate 7 out of 10. I didn't enjoy it as much as Boom. I'd rather rate, rate it on the same level as Boom, so an 8 out of 10 or a 7, I'll say 7.5 out of 10, like, I think it was a great episode, very standalone but not great, not a great awesome story, it still has some flaws, it's still not, it's it's not as crazy action packed, um, some of the characters aren't really 
obviously the characters aren't really likeable, so I don't really enjoy it and like feel scared for these characters. That's they're very unlikable. But that's all I'll say for now. So if you haven't seen it, go and watch the episode. In the comments below is a link to my Doctor Who um, fan series channel with my friend. We're finishing it this year, so make sure to watch all the seasons before that if you want to. Obviously, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you might want to give it a little look. The special effects aren't as good that that good. Some of the storylines in the early seasons when we did in 2020, I was a bit younger then, so the effects won't be as good. The storylines, there might be a few plot holes or whatever, but right about now, I think, for series three, four, or five, um, and six coming in a few in next month um yeah it's a great sort of fan series just to have a little look at so thank you all for watching this video and i will see you in the next video and if not then i will see you for my review of doctor who episode six rogue see you soon